Shalom, Pnina. How are you? Good to see Hello. you. Good How was your you. Corona time? I see that you have a new, a new home. Mazal Tov. Tada Rava. Was great, even though it was uh, challenging with the three kids at home. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for everybody. So it's, um, you know, thank you for uh, coming to our uh, special, um, our special show, uh, Something Small and Good. I would like to ask you, how was it like to grow up uh, in Israel as what we call now a Jew of color? Because uh, I know you are a success story. You are a community shlicha in uh, Washington, D.C. You are a senior Jewish agency professional now, um, director of Hillel. Uh, but I guess it was not easy to grow up as a black kid. So, yes, I think uh, it was unique and different way for me to grow up as the only black person in a, at the elementary school and the only black uh, family in the neighborhood in Haifa where it's the same until today. So even if in the beginning I never thought I'm different, uh, after a while, the kids showed me and, uh, and, and, and taught me that I look different. Uh, when one of the kids asked me if I want to color myself to white and then I'm going to look like them, you know. Uh, and I, I felt it was a uh, very uh, hurt uh, thing to say. And uh, I went back home and I learned my first lesson of uh, confidence when I met my neighbor from uh, Masha from Poland, from the Holocaust survivor. And she told me, never let other people judge who you are. You should go back to those kids and tell them, you, you, skin, you stinky yellow cheese go every summer to get my color. Uh, don't ever let me change my color. So in very early age, I learned to start questioning my identity. And I think this is something that the Jewish color people uh, have with them all the time. It's, it's, it's also, a, a, I think, a different uh, situation in Israel because of the glory of the Aliyah from Ethiopia. I still remember the picture where your family came uh, carrying your grandfather on their back from uh, Ethiopia. I, I, I still remember this picture. And, and also in, in Israel, because we have so many um, diverse uh, ethnic groups, like Yemens and Sephardites and Ashkenazis and uh, you know, different uh, ethnic groups, uh, the, the, the term Jew of color is not very uh, different for us uh, because you know, we are used to, uh, to have you know, different versions of, of being, being Jewish, while in the States, I think it's more monolithic. So, you know, maybe we can ex ex um, export some of our experience uh, to the States. How do you see the social unrest now that is going on there? I feel like uh, that the terms maybe not so uh, efficient or accurate for the people here in Israel because here it's the Jewish people and you have Jewish people from many backgrounds, but it's still something uh, that can be appealing for us because uniquely to the Ethiopian people, we're the only one that have a skin color that it's different. Like a Yemeni Jew or Russian Jew can change their name to Hebrew names, can second generation and third generation, they will be Israelis. In my, for my kids, for example, born in Israel, people still look at them first as an Ethiopian, unfortunately, and not as an Israeli or, or, or even a Jew because they, it's, that's the first image you see, the color. So even if the terminology, it's not uh, exist yet here, I think it's something that we should have uh, in conversation and talk about it and not afraid to talk about race and color in Israel and have it part of uh, you know, how you identify yourself uh, as well. I feel that what's happening in the States right now, it's very, very important. Uh, now I'm not encouraging the violence, but I, I do encourage the awareness around it and the education about it. I read a lot, a lot of articles that are coming out today from rabbis and from Jewish color people. So, that so do, do you think the Jewish community needs to do more? You, you, um, you think that they are doing I, enough? I do. I, I met many people that are black Jews in America that are not necessarily Ethiopian, that do not feel yet comfortable in the Jewish space of the community in the States. And I think part of it, it's because they need to feed themselves to the center. They need to feed themselves to the mainstream Ashkenazi uh, you know, voice uh, tradition. Well, maybe they can bring their own uh, tradition from home and it's not. 
uh, and it's the same with the Hispanic Jew that I met. So I, I don't, I, they, I feel they like also, it's not They can issue. also become the, the bridge between the general black uh -huh, community uh -huh. and, and, the, and the Jewish community. And no, many the, of them do that. They, yeah, many of them take an active uh, role in the Jewish communities and are part of it. If it's reform, conservative, etc., they're not inventing their own stream. But I feel it's still, it's a sense that only minority can understand. You know, we don't have the privilege of being the majority. So it's a different feeling when you always find yourself as the only one that look different or the only mm -hmm. one that in a minor group. You know, when you go to a synagogue and there's 300 uh, Jews that are all white and you're the only black person, you're still going to feel part, uh, uh, kind of uh, uncomfortable, even if everyone welcome you. And, and maybe we can, uh, we can also use the example of the Ethiopian uh, Israelis um, and to bring the representatives there. So the general community sees that, uh, that we have an entire community in Israel that are, that are black and we brought them to, to freedom from Africa. So it's kind of a unique story. It is. But then, you know, some people will argue and say, well, they are part of the Jewish people. We don't know if you were. I mean, that's part of the thing that I heard, that people question a black Jew. Right. How do, how do you know you're Jewish and how did you join the Jewish people? Uh, and we also had those questions in the past. Uh, today, it's, it's less question in our Jewish identity. It's more about integrating to the society of Israel. Uh, but as we say, you know, it takes sometimes a generation and so. Uh, to feel more comfortable and part of the people. So I guess we can learn from each other. Thank you so much for uh, being, being with us. And uh, we hope to meet in person soon when okay. this uh, situation <laughs> is over. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs>